had some some you know, new guys out there. Not just the young guys, but like older guys, even though we call them experienced because they've been in our program, uh, they were inexperienced at the varsity level, so they're new, you know, so they're going to make some mistakes and, you know, it's always, you know, we tell them all the time, right? I think every coach in America tells the kids all the time, it's, it's not the mistakes that you make, it's, it's what you do immediately after and then what we, follow, what we do to follow it up. And I thought that our kids showed a lot of character uh, to stay focused in the game, to, to keep on trying to make plays. And, um, this Arbo did play great, you know. Alex Arbogast, you know, he, he made some great runs, but like he, he got some lanes that he hasn't had in previous games. Mm. On top of that, so that was a full team win. Defense tightened up in tough situations, uh, not just in the second half, but also in the first half. I think it was a couple of times that that game could have gone. Uh, they could have had a huge amount of momentum going into halftime. Instead, it was a good amount. Of, Really effective yeah. with the blitz, I was going to say, particularly. It seemed like when you put pressure on them, they had a lot of difficulty either getting passes off or establishing their run game. Yeah, I mean, it's like pick your poison. They get a lot of weapons, and to be able to, you know, it, it, you know we needed a little bit of match with some new guys um, on the back end, so uh, we had to generate some pressure to kind of help those guys because we couldn't peel more guys from the, from the front. Yeah. So our guys, you know, I, I thought that it was good complementary defense on both ends. I thought we got pressure when we needed it. I thought we had cover at, at, at key times on some deep balls that were scary. Um, I'm just proud of the guys, you know, like they worked hard and, you know, um, they, they put a lot of effort into getting ready for the season. And we talk about just, uh, you know, last year I don't think we were a good representation of Tuxby football. Um, from an execution standpoint, but also from a toughness standpoint. And, you know, that's in, in accept, unacceptable. You know what I mean? Like, uh, the execution stuff, we can blame on the coaches and blame on the kids to some degree, but, like, the, the effort and the toughness, those are the only two things they can control. So they better be on the right side of that. That's what we try to do. You're going to be really happy with the offensive line. I think you guys had 350 someone yards. Well, you know, we're realistic. You know, I, I thought that they were, I thought that they were great. But like you know, the, the exchange, the, ex yeah. the exchanges, the exchanges were tough, and, yeah, yeah. and uh, we can't have those. And then uh, you know, um, you know, we realize that you know having depth. I think we talked about yeah, that. Yeah. You know, like you know, so it's not the same dudes on both sides. That that took a toll, I think, on them more than it did on us. Yeah, yeah. But I think if you flip it to last year, it was like it, it, it reverse. I think they had a couple of guys that were getting a blow on offense or defense up front, yeah. and we didn't. Yeah. And we paid the price for that, especially in the second half. You know, I think they pushed us around pretty good. So, hey, we're, we're proud of it. Uh, these, they're a tremendous program. They're gonna get a couple of one injury back, I think, uh, and, and they'll be ready to rock and roll. That's seven. Yeah. And uh, if if uh, you know, we get a work out for us. Every week we do, and hopefully we can just continue to eliminate mistakes and get better every week and and put something together here. So I'm just happy right now. So anything else about Alex's game? Brian, thanks. With, with yeah. Congratulations this season. Okay. Awesome. Thanks, coach.